nice for, for having us here and for joining us for this um, nutritional session. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to make two things. I'm going to demonstrate making a nice green juice and also making some healthy raw chocolate brownies for yourselves. Mm. So we all know that teachers have a lot of pressure on them, a lot of pressure on your time and also on your energy. Um, to be a teacher it's quite a demanding thing energetically. So you really need to look at supporting yourself through food. So that's what my aim is, to give you a few tips to help you support yourselves through the food and drinks that you have through your day. So we're going to start by making a green juice. Now, a green juice uh, can be very, very delicious and very nutritious, packed full of goodness, and actually more goodness than you'd actually be able to eat. Because if you sat down and ate a bowl of kale, an apple, a pear, a banana, dates, hemp seeds, all of that for breakfast, you might struggle to get through it. But if you put it into one of these lovely blenders, you can mush it up and it's something that you can then have throughout your day. So, Giles and myself have been working uh, on a project, uh, Wellbeing in Schools, for the last four years, where we've gone into mm. schools teaching children and staff about wellbeing. And a large part of that was going into staff rooms and looking at what staff were doing, how they were eating, um, if they had fresh air, the lights they had, the breaks they were having. And uh, what we noticed is that a lot of teachers turned to coffee and teas and biscuits in order to fuel them through their day. <laughs> and actually, this is counterproductive because actually that makes you more sluggish and more tired. And that's not what we want. We want to really be energised through good food. So, a green juice. You can make these green juices in a hand blender, you can make it in a juicer, you can make it in a normal blender. If you're doing it in a normal blender, this is quite a high powered jobby, you just do it slowly, one at a time, instead of putting everything in like I'm going to do now. So what we're going to start with is we're going to start with a cup of kale. Now kale is amazing for you, it's full of vitamins and minerals. So it's really, really good for your body. It's also very good to help your body stay cleansed. Dark green vegetables have lots of chlorophyll in, and what that does is it actually helps you to remove toxins from your system, which is really, really important. If you're a cup and you're filled with toxins and heavy metals, and you've got some really good stuff in here, and you're going to put this in here, what's going to happen if this is full of toxins and heavy metals and you've got good stuff that you're pouring in? What's going to happen with the good stuff? Just It's not going to go in, is it? It's going to splash out because there's no room for it to go in. You may have an odd drop that gets in there, but not much. So it's really important that on a regular basis we actually cleanse our system, we detoxify our system. And we can do this really simply by having dark green vegetables. So, we're going to put our cup of kale in. Juliet, what's the advantage of, 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 of it being raw rather than, you know, most people would have kale, they wouldn't blend They'd it. cook it. No. When you're having raw food, obviously you've got a lot more nutrients in it. When we cook food or heat food above 40 degrees, it breaks down the enzymes in the food. And what this does is it actually affects the amount of vitamins and minerals we're getting. So that's why when bo you have boiled carrots and things like that, they're actually dead nutrient-wise. We need to have as much raw food as we can. And as I said before, if you wanted to sit and munch away on a kale leaf, it wouldn't be very easy in that form. That's why people cook it. But you can stick it in here and add it to the juice, and it's really easy to absorb those nutrients. So next, I'm going to put a cup full of lettuce in. Now, lettuce is really good for our mind. It helps to ease the busyness in our mind. It helps to keep us calm. It's also packed full of minerals, and it's really good for your bone health. So, in goes our lettuce. So as I said before, <laughs> if you're doing this in a normal blender, just blend each thing one at a time. We're going to put some cucumber in next. Now, cucumber, where possible, it's best to get organic cucumbers because cucumbers um, obviously are very water-based, so we really need to have as much uh, organic food as we possibly can. So we're going to put some cucumber in, half a cucumber. Cucumbers are very, very good for your skin. Again, they help to detoxify your system. They're really good for your eyes. They're really cleansing. I mean, you can kind of feel that when you're eating a cucumber, how cleansing it is to your body. So we've got half a cucumber. 
Next, we're going to put a pear in. Now, pears are very, very good for your digestive health. They're really, really good to keep you regular, to keep your bowels moving. And we need this because we need to keep everything flushed out of our system. If your bowels aren't working properly and aren't clearing on a regular basis, then you just get blocked up with poo. That's not something that we want, is it? Because actually, what that does is it makes you sluggish. It makes your whole body feel heavy and limp. You know, you don't want that. You want to actually be as vibrant as you possibly can by being clear. So, our pear to help keep us clear. I'm going to put an apple in. Now, as you notice, I'm leaving all the core and the pips in these because inside the pip, of apples and pears, there's something called B17, which has been shown to be very, very good to fight cancer. So we've got our pips and our core in. It's also, if you eat whole foods, the whole of a food, you're getting all the nutrient level. Quite often, nutrients can be just below the skin, and quite often we're peeling things, so we're missing that vital component. So if you can get the whole foods in you, so much the better. Next, we're going to put, I don't know if there's gonna be much room in there, <laughs> A handful of dates. Now dates are really really good to give you stamina and to keep your energy levels up. So is that with pits? No, those don't those don't have those those are deep pitted. I might cane my blender if I did it with pips. We're going to put a banana in as well. Bananas are very good for slow release energy and they're very high in potassium. Um, then we are going to squeeze the juice of an orange. Okay. Oranges are very high in vitamin C, so they're really good to keep our immune system going. I always like to eat, where possible, a rainbow of foods. If you're eating lots and lots of different colours, you're getting that whole cross-section of nutrients, which is so important to us. Okay. And last but not least, if they'll fit, I'm going to add half a cup of hemp seeds. These are deshelled hemp seeds. Hemp seeds are the perfect balance of omega-3 and 6 that our body needs. So they're really, really good for our brain functions. We need essential fatty acids in our diet to fuel our brain, children especially, but us as grown-ups as well, because otherwise our brain, our nervous system, our adrenal system, our thyroid won't work properly if we don't have enough essential fatty acids. So hemp seeds are a brilliant source of that. What are hemp seeds? So hemp seeds come from <laughs> the hemp plant. You're Dutch. You um, <laughs> yes. There's, there's no illegal substances in this. Hemp seeds. <laughs> Hemp seeds um, are the, these are deshelled ones. You can have a little look. Why are you taking deshelled ones? Oh, you can use the whole. What happens then is you've got the shell's quite hard, mm -hmm. so you'd get quite a lot of little bits in it, which would be quite hard to process. Uh, if you put them there. You're still going to have little bits, so it's best. What you can do if you want to use the whole ones is soak them overnight and then make a milk with them and use that milk then in the smoothie, which I which I do quite a lot. Mm -hmm. um, so, in case you haven't seen, mm -hmm. they've got quite a nutty taste. Nice to snack on. You can also, if you want to get a grinder, you can use the actual whole hemp seeds and grind them up yourself in a grinder, which mean makes the breaks the shells down. So. Okay, now, I've got a pounder in order to help this process, otherwise it might go quite slowly. I always think a really important part to making food is our thoughts. We forget about it quite often, but our thoughts are so important when we're making foods because they can really change the food that you're eating or drinking. I'm sure you've all experienced that thing where you've made some food and you've been a bit grumpy. And you've been staring at food. And, and everyone tastes it and they think, they say, oh, what's going on there? Is, you know, have you done something different? Because it doesn't taste quite right. And again, in the complete opposite, when you're feeling wonderful and you've had time and you've put all your love into food and everyone goes, oh my gosh, this tastes amazing. What have you done? You've done nothing different on each occasion 
other than yourself, putting your love into the food that you're making. So I always think whenever you're making food, be it just a drink, be it just getting water, whatever it is, to have that moment where you actually have a loving thought. It's like before you have food when you say the grace and you say thank you to everything. You know, that's a really important element. So, whilst I'm putting this blender on and it's making its noise, I'd like you all just to send some loving thoughts to it so we can actually really charge up our juice even more than just with the nutrients, but with our love. Okay. I hope you're all sending love. make it go that lighter colour, they, they add creaminess to things, so if you wanted to make a nice creamy uh, drink or a creamy sauce for food, you can always use hemp seeds because then you're getting all that omega nutrients in it as well. What I'm going to do is I'm going to strain it, I have a muslin bag here, you don't have to strain it, but for the first time when you're getting used to having these drinks it's always better to strain it a bit because otherwise it can be a bit thick. So. These bags are absolutely brilliant. This is actually a silk one, not a muslin one, but you can get muslin bags and it makes it very, very easy to strain. And it's quite a therapeutic experience, squeezing it out. <laughs> if anyone wants to have a go, you're more than welcome to try. Just make sure you wash your hands. <laughs> and what we're doing here is we're actually getting all of the juice, the liquid, out of it. So we're leaving very little pulp left over. And what we do leave will be really... Ah, do I have a volunteer coming to have a squeeze? Amazing! It is, it's lovely. And the finished product tastes, feels a bit like putty. Let me do give you the next yeah. lot. You can have a go on the next. Um... It smells good. Well, fingers crossed it will taste good too. So you can squeeze it, as you can see, you can get, I'm still getting quite a lot of juice out of it when you squeeze it, if you just keep pushing it. <laughs> it's like you're milking the cow. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, milking, I'm milking my green juice. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to empty this out okay. into here. But now lots and I'm going to show people lots of the, the um, structure uh, and so Right, yeah, it's in there. A little bit of it is, but we're still getting some. If you want to hold yeah. that bag, and then we're going to pour this in. Ideally, if you can drink it with all the pulp as well, yeah. that's the best thing. There's, there's, but there's so much fibre. There is a lot of fibre in this. The, the, that's it. All of that. So you can see, this is what's left. So you do have a lot of fibre still in there, but... And if you were drinking a lot of it on a regular basis, oh yeah, sorry, <laughs> then obviously you can have, generally what I do is I have one that's fibrous to start my day off, and then I have a more juicy one after that, because also the fibre slows down the absorption of the sugar in the body. So it's quite good first thing in the morning to have a more fibrous one, because it gets you moving nicely. But we're not at the beginning of the day now, so we don't necessarily want... You don't want us to run to the toilet. <laughs> It's quite nice, isn't it? It is. Come on. So I'm going to start pouring this out for a few people now. And we can have a bit more of a squeeze in a second so that you all get. I just pour a few out with me. Do you want to keep squeezing in your hand these ones out? Here you go. One for you. One for you. But the thing is, with
with this, it's very, yeah, very straightforward to do. Yeah, what you can do in the morning is you can make yourself a big oh. pint of this. You can bring it to school and you can drink it through your day. So when you feel like you're getting a bit sluggish, you can top up your energy levels by having this. So it's a really, really good thing to keep you going through the day. You like it? Mm. So what do you think, those who have it? Nice? A nice balance of freshness and sweetness. Yeah, it's definitely fresh, got fresh. So the cucumbers have that freshness. So does, so does the lettuce, you know. It's a really good... Watery than I thought it would be. Yeah, nice of it. You added yeah, some water fresh. as well? I added yeah. two cups of water, water in the beginning, yes. Mm. If you have a kale juicer, can you do it without, you know, the ones that actually get the juice the out masticator. of The masticator. The sort of, yeah, they have lots with of the cogs. That yeah. Kind of... I would, you, if you're juicing it all, then that's fine. You probably don't need some water. I always water it down a little bit because the things that you're putting in there are quite thick. Mm. So, otherwise, I mean, if you look at the contents of this now, like that. Mm. It's still quite thick. It's quite it? thick. Yeah, it's so thick. if you had no water in there, you would be eating it with a spoon, really. Mm -hmm. It would be a very, very thick consistency. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me pour a few more. This of is these a nice, out. it's quite sort of a strong aftertaste. What's the aftertaste? Yeah, we get but I think because it's quite sort of thin, you don't feel as if it's medicinal. You know, sometimes when you get it's a bit thin. They have one in here, isn't it? But like you said, the cucumber and the lettuce is really. I have not. I still have these. Yeah. I think she said you can feel the structure of them more. I take some of those. Everybody tells something. It's true. <laughs> okay. What do you think? Oh, okay. So what is this? What do you taste? Are you enjoying it? Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. Banana. Oh. banana. Between us, we taste it all. Cucumber. It's quite nice. It's like wine tasting. <laughs> 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 what did someone say? It tastes like wine gums. <laughs> no, it's like wine tasting. You get. Oh, yeah. wine tasting. <laughs> <laughs> different people have different. So, what's the predominant? What? What do you? I know some of you haven't had it. You will get it. Don't worry. What, what are your thoughts on it? Oh, nice. Nice. Yeah, nice. Is it something that you think Refreshing. you could drink on a regular mm. basis? Yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Especially if someone made it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but if you get yourself into yeah. a regular routine, yes. obviously I've gone slower because I've been talking about it. Yeah. You can just bung the ingredients in, blend them up, mm. and it doesn't actually take very long. It's quite a quick process, and you can use whatever is in your fridge. You don't have to use this set recipe. You can actually use other things that you've got. So you could put carrots in there, you could put some ginger in there. Ginger is a great anti-inflammatory. It's a really lovely thing to put in. So you can play around based on your taste buds. That's the kind of joy of making things yourself, is it's not someone else's taste buds, but your own. And also, we've been using a lot of wild greens, haven't we? Yeah, I just wanted to say you know, nettles and so on. Yeah. Nettles are perfect. Nettles, nettles dandelions. dandelions. Lines. Chickweed is another one that's so amazing. Cleavers. And chickweed grows everywhere. Um, Swiss field. chard, mm -hmm. you know, you can put in. We've got in our garden chard and spinach, which has been mm -hmm. growing all year round, which is great because you can go out there whenever you want and just pick some more leaves, and it's a perpetual crop. Mm -hmm. can, can you uh, prepare, say, the evening before? You can. The thing is, with any of these kind of things, is it's better to have it the fresher the better. You could definitely do that because this will last. How many more people do we have? Um, two at the table and I think Clara. Two yes, Sven as well. Oh, Sven, four. Sorry, Sven. <laughs> and is it different doing it in this, like this? Where you Blend it all together with a juicer. See, I, per I personally yeah. prefer doing things in a blender because I feel you can get more of the nutrients out. Mm -hmm. And you also then have the choice as to really whether good. you want to have it with the fibre or whether you want mm -hmm. to strain it. Mm -hmm. And I quite like this process. Blenders are also much oh, easier to clean than juicers. Mm -hmm. Juicers mm -hmm. are a pain. And we want to make these things as simple as possible because if it's not simple, you're not going to do it. Mm -hmm. You know, if yeah. you've got to faff about for ages, you're less likely to do it. And juices, you're less likely to do because it's going to take you ages to clean all those little bits out. So if you can just stick it in a blender, whiz it up and strain it through, that bag takes 10 seconds to wash. You turn it inside out and you wash it under the tap. And that's it. So it's a very easy process. So 
Our thing is to make it as easy as possible and, and, as, and as accessible as possible because that way people are more likely to actually do it. <laughs> so it's maybe you make, your, you make your juice and then you, you, you put it in your, your bottle and take it with you. You know, I mean, that's what often that's I do. Right, yeah. I'm, you know, I've got oh. two minutes in the morning, okay. blend it up, put yeah. it and I'm off. You might want to wash your hands. And then I, you know, <laughs> just throughout the morning. Yeah, yeah. And you're giving yourself <laughs> the best possible fuel that you could have for your, you know, for your body. And for your body is... and your mind. You, it, like, from, from a nutritional point of view, it's difficult to have something better than that, isn't it? Mm. Really. You do feel it almost instantaneously. Though. It's instantaneous, yeah. 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 And, and then what keeps about you going. It's so delicious. Really Different delicious. fruits, because I've looked at food combining and I sometimes I find fruit because I find fruit difficult to have with other things, but that's Apples are very, very good for the digestion. So apples are one of the best things we can have for our digestive system. The pectin in them really supports our body, um, really supports us actually absorbing nutrients from food. So apples are a great source of um, digestive health. Also pears are as well. Mm. Um, so the, the fruit I've put in there, I've been quite specific about. You can obviously cut out some of them. If you don't want to use the oranges, you don't have to. Or you don't banana, have to. Yeah. Or the banana. Lemon um, lemon. Lemons are great because they're very alkalizing for your gut. You know, a great way to start the day is to have a lemon water. Mm. That's a really, really good way to start your day. So. The apple, I mean, I think apples are one of the key foods we should be having. You know, they, in a lot of countries, if people have diarrhea or problems with their stomach, they puree apples up and give them apples. Again, the same for coughs. Apples work wonderfully for the chest and for bronchitis and for problems with, with the whole breathing area. So apples are one of those, you know, there's that saying, an apple a day keeps the doctor away. That's come from somewhere. And it really is an effective thing, having apples. So... If you want to watch out for fruit, I would still stick with having apples and pears, um, and then and then maybe cut out the the banana and the orange. Um, and they're English. Uh, they're yes. local. They're yes, local they are fruits. local. That's exactly right. Yeah. Yeah. And we can grow them so well in this country, apples and pears. Um, dates, obviously, not so easily. But you can use a teaspoon instead of dates of local honey, because local honey has all the antibodies that your body needs grown in your area. And it's also very antiviral. Honey, you've got to be careful with not to heat. We don't want to ever heat it up because that breaks down the goodness of, uh, it breaks it down. But it's one of the best medicines, honey. Um, so if you don't want to use dates, maybe a teaspoon of honey.